Evenfall found him sitting alone in the common room of White Sword Tower, with a cup of Dornish red and the white book. He was turning pages with the stump of his sword hand when the Knight of Flowers entered, removed his cloak and sword belt, and hung them on a wall peg next to Jamie's. I saw you in the yard today, said Jamie. You rode well. Better than well, surely. Sir Loris poured himself a cup of wine and took a seat across the half-moon table. A more modest man might have answered, My lord is too kind, or I had a good mount. The horse was adequate, and my lord is as kind as I am modest. Loris waved at the book. Lord Rinley always said that books were for maesters. This one is for us. The history of every man who has ever worn a white cloak is written here. I have glanced at it. The shields are pretty. I prefer books with more illuminations. Lord Rinley owned a few with drawings that would turn a septon blind. Jamie had to smile. There's none of that here, sir. But the histories will open your eyes. You would do well to know about the lives of those who went before. I do. Prince Aemon the Dragon Knight. Sir Ryan Redwine. The Great Heart. Barristan the Bold. Gwaine Corbray. Alan Connington. The Demon of Derry. Aye. You will have heard of Luckamore Strong as well. Sir Luckamore the Lusty. Sir Loris seemed amused. Three wives and thirty children, was it? They cut his cock off. Shall I sing the song for you, my lord? And Sir Terence Toyne? Bedded the king's mistress and died screaming. The lesson is, men who wear white breeches need to keep them tightly laced. Giles' gray cloak? Orivel the open-handed? Giles was a traitor, Orivel a coward, men who shamed the white cloak. What is my lord suggesting? Little and less. Don't take offense where none was meant, sir. How about Long Tom Costain? Sir Loris shook his head. He was a King's Guard knight for sixty years. When was that? I've never. Sir Donald of Duskendale, then. I may have heard the name, but Addison Hill? The White Owl, Michael Mertens. Geoffrey Norcross? They called him Never Yield. Red Robert Flowers. What can you tell me of them? Flowers is a bastard name. So is Hill. Yet both men rose to command the Kingsguard. Their tales are in the book. Roland Darklin is in here, too. The youngest man ever to serve in the Kingsguard until me. He was given his cloak on a battlefield, and died within an hour of donning it. He can't have been very good. Good enough. He died, but his king lived. A lot of brave men have worn the white cloak. Most have been forgotten. Most deserve to be forgotten. The heroes will always be remembered. The best... The best and the worst. So one of us is like to live in song. And a few who were a bit both, like him. He tapped the page he had been reading. Who? Sir Loris craned his head around to see. Ten black pellets on a scarlet field. I do not know those arms. They belonged to Kristen Cole, who served the first Viserys and the second Aegon. Jamie closed the white book. They called him Kingmaker.